Hey, we're the Morses and we're going mobile. We're moving out of this house in the burbs and we're going to start taking the back roads in our new RV. Life is going to be a little interesting packing all six of us inside here, but we are ready for the challenge. On this episode, my parents are giving you a full tour of our RV. They show how we are going to use both the inside and the outside to take life on the road. Before they get into the tour, I wanted to show you the camping trailer that we used to have. It was great and we have lots of awesome memories with it but we knew we needed something a little bigger if we were going to do this full time. So we sold it to this great family who was so excited to take it on their next adventure. Hey Brandon and Amber here the king and queen of Morse's Go Mobile. This is my yeah. queen. All right. You're queen. my queen. Yep. Um, hey this is like the most anticipated video I think maybe just for us because we've been yeah. so excited to show you guys. But um, some of you, we've been waiting, like we've saw some people at church. We've had friends uh, and family on the other side of the country say, when do we get to see this thing? So what are we doing today? We are showing you our trailer. What do we call this segment? Like um, MGM Cribs, Morse's Go Mobile Cribs. Yeah, I like that. Uh, someone has called it, maybe it was me, maybe it was someone on Facebook. I can't remember. Uh, you <laughs> called it the MGM Grand, which I like. Oh. Um, so maybe in the comments of the YouTube video, you can let us know what the best name for this thing is because we got to name this this RV, but I kind of like the MGM Grand. Morses Go Mobile Grand. It does have like a horse emblem on it, which I love horses. We'll show and you so, that. So like... Yeah. yeah. So the plan is this. Um, I'm going to give you the outside tour because that's the domain that I'm the king of. Yeah. And Amber's going to give you the inside tour because that's the domain that she's the queen of. Okay. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's let's get to it. <laughs> so we are gonna walk towards the trailer here. This thing has been parked out in front of our house. We're trying to obey the, I don't know, 48 hour, or 72 hour rule for the subdivision. So we've been working on it and then we go put it away. We go work on it and then we come put it away. Then we bring it back. So this is it. It is a, let me kind of tell you just a little bit about it. Um, it is a 2020 um, open range ot328 vhs that's pretty good that's a good that's a good memory right babe I mean, yeah come on i've yep. looked at these things for so long now um that i think i just got it locked into memory but um so a little bit about this it's 38 feet long it's kind of a beast it has four um, slide outs one big one on this side and the other three on the other side we'll show you those um it is a bumper pole which i think uh, a lot of people wonder okay why did you go bumper pole and not go fifth wheel um, and why didn't you go like a full on bus? Um, our, we have lots of reasons, but the biggest reason why we went bumper pole is that we already have the truck. I you guys saw it in one of the other videos. Our tow vehicle is a 2011 Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on. And oh my gosh. <laughs> that is a, a beast of a truck to tow with. Um, the problem is, is, is if we wanted to go to a fifth wheel, um, the size that we'd have to go for our family with a fifth wheel would put too much weight on the pin. It's called pin weight. Um, and that would be too much for a three quarter ton truck. Uh, we would have to get a one ton truck and those things are really expensive. Um, this truck is paid for, it's ready to go. It only has like 76,000 miles on it, I think. Um, and so, you know, as all the Cummins guys would say, it's just getting broken in. Um, so we didn't want to buy a new truck. And then this also frees up the back of the truck. I have a big old eight foot bed, the back of the truck um, to use for, I've got a toolbox back there. Maybe I'll give you a tool rundown someday of all the things I'm taking with me because I literally packed my whole workbench in my truck. Um, and then we'll put our bikes in the back and then we'll bumper pull this long beast of a trailer. Um, and uh, to get a bus and all that, you know, then you got to get a, like a tow vehicle, um, just lots of different reasons. But for us, uh, bumper pull was the way to go. So let's get right to it. We'll start with the front, work our way back. So we're going to bring you over here to our pass-through storage. Um, We'll get you inside here. These have cool magnetic holders up here. So bring them on in, babe. Uh, my beautiful camera woman. Hey, wait, real quick. Okay. Um, who's your favorite sports team? Why are you asking me that? Because <laughs> your shirt. Oh, you're so weird. <laughs> Why do you, my local <laughs> sports team? It's just, whatever. Like, yeah, just, okay. <laughs> sports are dead right now. Okay. So this is our pass-through storage. It's totally packed full right now. I've been been packing this thing. I think I can do better. Um, but we've got all our chairs in there. We've got our mat. Is it even, can you see in there? Yeah, you might have to get close. There you go. Um, we've got our, our, uh, our, what do you call this? Mobile wagon. Um, lots of random stuff. We've got our Camp Chef two burner grill in there with the, uh, flat cooktop. You guys will see that in action someday. 
And then these things right here, uh, these electronics, this is the inverter. Um, that's what takes um, the 12 volts from the battery that you get and converts it to 120 so that our residential fridge um, can operate. So there's no, you know, RV fridges are usually propane and battery. This one, since it's a residential fridge, it's only um, electric. So um, let's go this way. You see our awnings. You might have to. That's what? not a big turd. What's not? Does it look it like looks a like a turd. It looks like a turd, but it's not. Oh, that. <laughs> no, that's insulation. Okay. That's foam well, insulation. Now for, I'm touching the big thanks turd. For, <laughs> thanks for clarifying I'm that. glad you clarified that. <laughs> um, we've got two big old awnings, which we love on this model. I don't, you might have to tilt it up pretty high, but we've got these really cool LED lights on the end. Um, these things are like one touch operation. You just hit a button, they extend, hit a button, they go back in. Um, and then the outdoor speakers for the stereo system, Bluetooth, all that, are on the ends of each one of the um, awnings. So they have them all throughout here. They're pretty small, so they sound like little tweeters, but it's still pretty cool. Um, let's see here, what else? Um, we can operate the, I wish I could show you this, uh, but my phone's being used for video right now, but we can operate the slides from uh, an app on our phone, as well as we can operate the, get, get that thing bent down here, camera lady. Um, the stabilizers, those all are operated from an app on our phone, which is super cool because gone are the days of me sweating like crazy to set up and tear down uh, this trailer. It was, that was something that I was really hoping for uh, when we were looking because I knew how many times we'd be setting up and tearing down, um, doing this full time for a year. And I wanted something that would be as easy as possible. So, okay. So come on this way. We've got our two big old awnings here with all the LED lights. And this is one of my favorite, what do we call this? Like rooms of the house. <laughs> um, this is a big old outdoor kitchen. So when we pop this open, it's kind of uh, air loaded there. Oh, what do we got on ESPN today? Let's see. You know, this is where we'll sit out and I don't know. Listen, we bought this and it came with four TVs and Hudson was like, dad, this thing has more TVs in it than our house does. And it does. So uh, we'll see how we do if we use them or not. Um, and, but this, so this was a big old out, uh, outdoor fridge and I'll show you a before pic because I took a picture of it with the fridge in it. And uh, when I took the fridge out, uh, it wasn't finished behind here. So we did some ship lap. Can you see that good from there? Um, this was my first ship lap, ship lap project. Uh, Mr. Build it. If you're watching, yep. Thank you props to Mr. Build it for inspiring me. <laughs> um, so the reason we pulled the fridge out of here is because we've got a full-size residential fridge inside, which you'll see in a second. Um, and there wasn't a great place inside for, if you remember the very first video, I very specifically pointed at a certain um, appliance in the kitchen and said, that is coming with me. Um, and what that is, is my espresso machine. Um, if someone said you can either take your espresso machine or you can take your wife, I would have a hard time picking, I think. Oh um, my gosh. I love you, but it would be hard for me. I really love the espresso machine. <laughs> and so anyways, so we took the fridge out. The espresso machine's gonna go right here. It's gonna be like an espresso bar. And I know this looks like it's super high up. Um, it's the way that we're kind of sitting off the side of the road here. Don't worry, I do have a step stool for Amber um, so she can reach. But we'll be making our coffee here in the mornings. And once we have our espresso machine, uh, we'll show you what this all looks like all set up. Um, but right now it's in the house because we use it every day. Um, right here, we've got a slide out grill, um, just flat top grill. Um, I don't. You know, we, we were used to cooking on a big two burner camp chef with a huge flat top. So I don't know how we'll use this, if we'll use it, what that'll be like, but I'm kind of just waiting for us to get out and start using things. Um, I like having a couple a couple over easy eggs in the morning and I can see us using this for that. Um, so that's there, we got some storage in a drawer here. Um, behind this TV is pretty cool. We're gonna get pretty detailed in our tour here so you can see how we're gonna use all this. Um, but there's a big storage area right back here. Um, I've got our backup coffee maker, you know, that little portable Keurig. Um, and then Amber is planning on putting our other appliances in here. Like, uh, what do you, what can you not live without your Instapot, mm -hmm. uh, our blender for making smoothies. What else? Anything else? Rice maker. Rice maker. Yes. Got to make that rice. Um, and then we'll probably use this, um, for using those appliances. So I, I put in this, um, power strip right here. You can see underneath. And that goes through here, plugs into the power right inside here. That way, when we have our espresso machine, if we put that other coffee maker out here, boom, easy to plug in those appliances. Um, and then we've got a outdoor sink here. So let's move to the back. Uh, what? Oh, 
Yes, okay, when I cleaned out my office, this was on my wall, I had to figure out a place for this. This is my favorite photo of Amber and I, and that's me on my, oh geez, which bike was that? Like my 2017 Yeti SB6. Uh, that was the year I was racing enduro and I was going full send and she stood underneath me and I jumped off the ramp. That's at the Eagle Bike Park in Eagle, Idaho. That's an amazing place to ride. Okay, this is my, maybe my second favorite part of this trailer. So um, the guy I bought this from, um, so he, I don't think I said this at the beginning, but he bought it brand new, like in February of 2020. So it is a 2020, um, used it a couple times, but while he had it, he had this rack um, custom fabricated. He designed this thing. It slides into the frame of the trailer. So it's very, very hefty. Let me show you how hefty. That's how hefty it is. Big 184 pound right now. Brandon can stand on it. Um, but so what I did is I took our Traeger. We can't go home without our pellet grill. Okay guys, I know some of you are pellet users, pellet grillers. Um, once you've had it, you can't go anywhere without it. So what I did is I took the legs off of it. I got some brackets, bolted it on. I've got a cool video I'll show you right now. It's probably playing right now for you. So you can see that drill going through. It's gonna make me look really manly. And uh, that's gonna go through there. And so this is totally mounted on the onto this this rack. We're pumped about this because I'm gonna be like right here grilling and then right around here to the to the outdoor kitchen, wash my hands, and then come back, put that chicken, you know it's gonna be rad. So that's that. This is our generator. Um, it's it's a Predator 3500. Um, it's big enough to run one of our, our main AC unit. Uh, as well as you know our fridge and all the all that all that stuff. The goal with this is just to get us through a night or two if we have to boondock or don't have a, a hookup somewhere. So uh, we've got that on here and that, that will stay there permanently. I've got it locked to the uh, bumper and we can just leave it here and hook it right into the power. Um, and I put it on this cool rubber mat so that it wouldn't vibrate. It actually works really well. So let's here come on out here, babe, and let's just show them. This is the beastly side of this trailer. If you come over here and you look at how many slide outs there are and just how long it is, um, it's a beast. It's 38 feet long and it's got, so this here is the bunk room. That is the, the kitchen. That's like where the refrigerator is. And that's opposing an opposing slide to the other slide that opens up. So you'll see how big the room is in there. And then the smaller one is our master closet. It pops out. So it gives us some more closet space. Hey, I'm excited to show you the inside of our trailer, so let's go. Babe, take your shoes off in my trailer. Uh, yeah, Brandon's really yep. particular. Shoe Nazi no around shoes around here. In the we keep our house clean. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go this way first. This is our main living area. So, something that we absolutely loved about this trailer and really why we chose this trailer is because of the u-shape sofa um, so this doubles as a sofa but also our dining area so it's really challenging to find a dining area that actually could sit six people to eat so what's really cool about these is that you can um, fit people around this table fit people around this table um, and but these are easy to break down and store in one of these under show them where they go yeah so they fit pretty big open space there both the ends flip up right yep they both flip up so it's great so next uh we're gonna flip around and we're, i'm gonna show you the kitchen area so this is obviously one of my favorite places in the trailer so this is a center island and I've got a cutting board here and then like a roll away drying rack. Really nice uh, size sink. And my other favorite thing about the center island is, come here, I wanna show you something. Trying to find an area to actually put your trash in a trailer is always a challenge. But what's really cool is it just has a pull out trash and look, Brandon's already using Yep, trash. it's definitely full. The two biggest, um issues in an RV like what Amber said are where do you put your trash can and where do you put your laundry so we've still got to figure out our laundry our last trailer had a laundry chute which we loved right yeah, we, did love uh, we love that so we'll see what we yeah. do with this okay go ahead what else um, pretty standard microwave uh, we have a three burner stove top here and that flips all the way back when you use it which is cool so it becomes another place that's like a countertop when it's not in use 
got our oven, got a really nice deep storage area under here, and then spice rack. Not quite organized yet, but there's different levels for spices. Got to have that Montreal, Montreal steak seasoning. Okay. Uh, this is our fridge, and this is, it's crazy. It's a full residential fridge and a full-size freezer. So that's going to be awesome when we're on the road. Right. But I do want to point out this because this is like my first decor. This is my first RV decor right and here. And probably your only because there's not a lot of space for extra decor. I know. I know. I might have to be creative. <laughs> but learning is growing. Is that what you feel like this year is all about? Yep. <laughs> the theme of the year. <laughs> okay. What do we have up here? What are we going to use these for? Tell them about. So this, this is, is... We just have random stuff in there right now from our last trailer, but... Yeah, but, like this is going to hold um, our dishes and what else? Cups. Cereal. That kind of stuff. Yep. Gotta We've got a bunch of drawers, right? Yep. Oh, whoa. Sometimes oh. they come out. Am Amber's. <laughs> she doesn't have big enough hands to like use her thumb as leverage, so she just gives them a good yank. Okay. <laughs> so, and then there was more drawer space down here, right? Yep. So on the other side of the island, there's um, oh, a bunch of drawer space. We've got silverware drawers. in there and some of that stuff so yeah. let's work our way maybe oh yeah so oh yeah in this cabinet here under six storage yeah. yeah all right well come on back with me we to... show them our fireplace babe. oh our fireplace it's actually pretty red and it actually really heats Huh, yep, it it's does. Electric. Yeah, the cool thing about these fireplaces is um, when you're plugged into shore power, meaning you're you're hooked up at a RV park or something, um, you get free heat because that will heat your place because it's, it's it's electric instead of having to use your propane. Yeah. So. All right. So. This okay. Dun, 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 dun. This, this is our bunk room. This is where we are going to stash all four children. And lock the door. No, just kidding. There is no lock. No. Come on in. Oh, look at They already have a cool shoe organizer up here. So we'll be dangling. Hudson wanted to make sure his shoes could fit. So there we yep. go. Then, let me just point this out. That um, to ask a teenager to give up her own room and her walk-in closet and her own bathroom, I decided that I was going to give her this space. So this is Jaden's closet. And she's got three drawers here. Then this is going to be Jaden's bed. We just put an extra memory foam topper on it just to make it even more plush and comfortable for her. And then right below her is going to be Cohen. So our little three-year-old Cohen is going to sleep on this bed with a little bumper here so he doesn't fall off. But it's like a perfect space for his size. And then um, under him is a nice large drawer so we are going to be putting kids stuff in this drawer then um, of course there's another TV in here because there's TVs everywhere in this art trailer um, but then we have these storage areas about three different storage areas over here that we will um, figure out how to utilize and then right over here this actually um, was set up like a dinette, so it, you can set it up as a dinette. If you set it up as a dinette, you just put this up and then you have a whole separate area here. But really for what we're doing is we really wanted the bed space and we didn't want to constantly break down a dinette and a sleeping space. So Hudson will sleep here and Britton is going to claim this bed down here. And then underneath of it, we have um, a large storage area that we'll utilize and then on each side we actually have these cabinets that open and have actually a really decent um, amount of space so we are going to be putting storage down there as well okay next huge thing of this trailer right the reason why yeah. we got it yeah you ready for this let me switch places dun, 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 dun. so in this behind this door <laughs> um we have another half bath so uh we just thought it was essential with having six people that we needed two toilets. Um, so this is our little cute half bath and it's got a storage cabinet here underneath the sink. And then 
we actually have a storage cabinet there. And then we found these on Amazon. So we hung one of those in our bathroom and in their bathroom and they're pretty cool. They're pretty cavernous, deep little shelf spaces. So I'm sure we'll be filling those up. Okay, following you to the next spot. All right, so the, the, the next couple spaces are the bathroom and the master bedroom. Here, let's stop there first and just show them, you know, people that like the cool stuff, like the, um, all, the all the controls are behind this panel. So there is how we work um, all of the awnings. Just hit the button once, they go in and out. There's all the lights and things. The, I can control all these lights from the phone app, which is really cool. Slides if you want to use these buttons, but I can use the phone app. And then um, this is where you look and see what all your tank levels are at. And then babe, show them that little closet there. This Another is little kind of closet. like a coat closet. It has hooks on it. So we're probably, I hung these for hanging keys on there. So we will probably add more stuff in there to store. Yeah. All right. So behind this door is our main bathroom. Another one of these cool storage things from Amazon. So we have a really nice size shower here, which Brandon says is awesome. I've taken, well, you guys saw in the last video, I had to take a shower. I actually took three in here, two in one day because of that Texas heat, but really cool adjustable um, height shower head. So we can lower it down for the kiddos. And then the guy that owned it before put these little shampoo and conditioner caddies because one of the things with RVs is every time you move, you got to take everything down off the shelves, like your shampoo, your bottles all that, so that's one less thing to deal with. Yeah. And this is the throne. Dun, 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 dun. That's where I do my best work. No, you do too much, too much work no, on the throne. That's, I, it's that's important, like, babe. That's work. important like, for a man. To, Listen. No, no, you need to figure out like how to do like a mom, a mom work. That's important know? for a man's Moms, mental like, health. Are super efficient. It's important okay. for a man's mental health. Okay, okay keep going. Um, so then you have these cabinets here, which are gonna be utilized. We have some towels in here already. And then some more cabinet space there. Then just medicine cabinet. Well, it's not, we're not using it. Yeah, just anyways, a cabinet. Anyways, anyways. And you gotta, gotta have them. Flushable wipes. Flushable wipes for those sensitive flush. hineys. You cannot flush those in an RV. So we, it's kind of gross, but we'll tell you guys. Yeah. We put a bag in that trash and listen, if you're gonna use booty wipes, they go in the trash. You don't flush them. You don't flush them down the old toilet. So only RV toilet paper goes down the toilet right there. So cool. yeah, 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 that's I'd a good talk. Share that. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're going to get the real stuff. Remember I yeah. said like the yeah, good, the bad did. and the real stuff. Did, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to meet you over there. This door passes through here. Yep. So okay. hold on. Yep. Hold close on. the door. Hello. This is. Welcome to our master bedroom. This is where we sleep, right? Yep. That's it. Just yep. sleep. And <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Okay. I messed her up. Go ahead. Keep okay, going. I'm not, so, I'm not stopping this. You better figure so, it out. Um, right ahead here. We have our, let me do this side first. This is pretty cool. So on this side of the slide, we have three nice size drawers and then I just put some plastic drawers in here. Got to use up that space. Yep, and then Brandon's I already, ready. look at I'm already ready to go. He's I got so ready to all go. of the, my hanging clothes are in here. The jackets and yeah. sweatshirts. I'm ready to rock and roll. Oh my goodness. Okay. This one goes here. Okay. And then, so I want to make sure everybody sees how much space I took of the closet. So you see how many little holes of those things there are? Yeah, this is Amber's. So Thanks, babe. I gave her more than half. And I'm really excited about this. You should show them that. Show them how that works. This is a, laundry, a collapsible laundry basket. If you guys are RVers or anything, um, these are this is super super practical. So it just pushes out, and you have a laundry basket. Look at that. Hardly uses any space. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, push her back down and right. put her away. Okay. All right. So then, um, this is actually going to be my side of the bed. Oh yeah, it is. You're right. I sometimes have to wake oh. up and use. If that's the case, I need to do some rearranging up there. These are just big storage cabinets. Yep. Um, and so tell them about this bed because it was a king and it actually has a king size frame. Um, we, we tried to put this blanket here to hide this, but you know, again, real life. So this is made for a king. And we'll, go ahead, tell them, babe, what the deal was with that. You so did not like it. When I walked in here and there was a king bed here, I felt like the king bed 
made this room feel so small. And so small in the way that you would have, like it hung, it hung out to this way. And I felt like I was just like shuffling around the bed. And I was like, oh, this is not gonna do. We don't need a king size bed um, for a, this adventure. A queen will be just fine. We had just bought in this memory foam queen anyways for our last trailer. Super comfortable. So, if you guys need a good, comfortable RV queen, let me know, let me know. I'll tell you all about it. Okay. Um, and so actually, I love the size of the queen in here. Really love it. I have bedding that's coming for it. Um, and so what do we have to do? Tell, show them what Brandon I had to do to had it. Brandon had to do a custom Let's lift that up. Uh, trim job. Yep. I had to, so the, the board the board hung over more, quite a bit more. And so I trimmed the board here and on every side. So we kind of made it smaller. It'll still take a king, but we just didn't want to hit our legs on a wind board. So let's lift this up. Let's just lift straight up. So this yeah. is, uh, oh, did you just hurt yourself? Yeah. Oh guys, our first video oh, injury. You gonna be all right? Yep. Okay, how are you feeling right now? Just my elbow hurts, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. good. Everyone's fine. Okay, so. Go ahead. Well, I better talk about this because I filled this you up. Did. Um, so this is our storage that's underneath the bed. We have four paddle boards in there, you guys. So you, just to show you how much space is in here. And then I couldn't fit that chair in the um, pass-through storage, so I brought it in here. And I'm pretty sure I can fit it in there eventually, but when I have more time and we're on the road, I can I'll have plenty of time to organize. Then we brought some backpacks and then Amber got a little iron because I don't know why, but she thinks just because We've never used an iron in our house in the last like five years that she thinks maybe she might use one while we're RVing. Used, I have used an iron and- Count on how many fingers, probably I, this many. Okay, in, so- Since we've been married, that oh, many. No, more than that. But really, we'll keep the package on it and you know, if we don't use it, we'll take it back to Walmart. It'll That's true. Fine. Okay, close our bed. So that concludes the tour, doesn't it? I mean, that's pretty much yeah. everything and um, let me turn the camera around here. So I think since we kind of showed you a video before we really moved in, Amber thought it'd be cool to have one of our, one of our videos be like when we're all in here, right? Yeah, like when all of our stuff, all of our kids stuff is in here, all the bedding is all on the, the kids. beds. All the kids. That'll be cool. Yeah, and yeah. when every nook and cranny is stuffed full of stuff, so. Yep, yeah, it's gonna feel real small real yeah. soon. Yeah, anyways, we hope you guys enjoy. We'll stay in touch. Peace and love. And subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> <I can't. laughs>